Hi Floss Tube friends, how are you? I've missed you. Today is Friday, September 11th, and if we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene, and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch, and sewing, and gardening, and my grandbabies, and food, and what I'm grateful for. So thanks a lot for stopping by. I'm really excited to see you. I haven't seen you for a while, so I miss all your comments, and, and so let's get started. We got lots to talk about. Okay, first, the food. Uh, I have coffee going and I have no bake cookies which are gluten-free and all that stuff and so but they're delicious they're really good and the coffee is made in my coffee pot <laughs> okay here's the thing um, we've had um, a bit of an issue with some fires okay so we're fine uh, the closest fire is about um, eight miles away uh, the smoke is really heavy today. So when I was out doing my grounding this morning, I kind of had to cut it short. Get just so stinky and it's just so heavy in the air. Um, okay, first of all, let's, uh, you know, I am so grateful for firemen. Let's just say it. We're we were grateful on 9-11 for those brave firemen and women that went towards the fire and didn't run from the fire. Um, and uh, they're saving a lot of homes and um, businesses in where I live in the Pacific Northwest. So first of all, we want to say um, uh, send our prayers and good wishes to Olivia Pumpkin Hollow uh, Quilts, Audrey Stitchy Witch 42. Um, their um, cars are packed, and they had to. Uh, Beth Twist, she had to leave with her family and her car. She's fine. So far, everybody that we kind of check in and everybody's fine, but uh, lots of our prayers and good wishes to all of them. Uh, Becca from Sambri Stitches, her family is um, uh, evacuated, not her, her and her kids, but you know, her extended family. Um, anyway, so far, everybody's fine. Um, they did arrest a couple of arsonists in my state, one in my town, sadly, and um, seven homes burned in the um, in the neighboring town uh, but we're fine we lost electricity for about uh, a little over 24 hours and um, I, I started the propane and the barbecue outside to heat some water so I could put it through my French press coffee maker to have coffee because I really had to have coffee to think straight and pray for people and all that and I, I need coffee so <laughs> but today it's in the it's in the coffee pot so Okay, uh, before we get started, we, I'm going to ask you for one more prayer. We got the call. Our friend Janet Jabber, she's a wonderful floss tube gal and a really good friend. Um, her father is in the last uh, few weeks of his life, and so Janet could use a great big hug from all of us. So if you get a, time, get a second, maybe you could go to her channel, her Instagram, uh, just leave her a big hug, it, send her a postcard, let her know we're thinking about her, and holding her hand as she uh, walks through uh, these last few days, which is tricky for any of us. So anyway, love you, Janet. Mwah! Okay, so let's see, what, what can we get started with today? Ooh, okay, first of all, look, fermented tomatoes. <laughs> I have a lot of tomatoes. Um, okay, so let's talk about tomatoes just for a second, okay? All right, so here's what I got last night. I get about a colander full a day. And I only plant, okay, I planted, um... I planted six tomato plants and then because I start my own from the suckers on the on the vine um, I now have uh, let's see 12 plants so I get about a colander a day okay here's my sticky note okay so far this year I just picked my last cucumber last night I, I ended up with 87 cucumbers 86 zucchinis and so far we've picked 194 serrano peppers so we're doing pretty good um okay so i have a couple of questions that i wanted to answer and the very one of the questions was how do i get so many tomatoes okay so i'm going to show you i'm going to put on this glove because i can't take a chance of getting that pollen on my cross stitch things but i wanted to show you uh, my tomatoes, uh, uh, my tomato trick. Okay, so 
So here, let's hold this up so that you can see. I'm going to have a little lesson here. Okay, so this this little leaf right here this little stem starting out between the v it's just like it's starting out and that is called okay i'm a better gardener than teacher okay there you go this little piece right here is called a sucker from the tomatoes we want to pick that out and then if you'll also notice that's what this big huge piece is. I let it go so that you could oh, so that you could see. All right, so there you go. It was there and I let it go so I could use it as an example and I picked that out. That forces a lot of the energy back into the plant so it creates tomatoes. Okay, so that's one way to get more tomatoes. Okay, the other way, which is oops, let me before I throw that away, let me show you. Okay, uh no i'll show you with this one okay this you can see the the little flowers and here's a tomato right here starting okay so these okay we all know that tomatoes are self-pollinating okay so that means in each of these little yellow flowers there's a male and a female and so they have to be dusted together so that they create a tomato. So all the bees can't get to all of them. And we brush by them or the wind knocks it. But if you go through your tomato plants, I'm going to do this over the garbage, garbage bag so it doesn't get on anything. If you go through all your tomato plants and hit, just kind of knock the little flowers every time you go by, that pollinates the tomato plant more so we get about 50 to 75 percent more tomatoes than if we hadn't done that so it's a good tip it's a really good tip it doesn't cost any money and it really does work so i've made oodles today i have uh tomatoes drying in the dehydrator to make sun-dried tomatoes for the winter time um i have my fermented tomatoes i have seven or eight batches of yard sauce, which I've done, and lots of caprese salads and eating them and eating a salad and eating them just wrong. Anyway, we really like tomatoes. So anyway, those are two tips. Um, and then maybe next year when it gets closer to uh, gardening time, we could talk a little bit more if you want a teensy bit more information about it. Okay. Uh, one of the questions that I got was in, in oops, in my, oh, there you go. I see you again. I didn't see you for a second, so I don't know what happened. Uh, I should just probably move that. Okay. Um, one of the questions I got in my last video was, uh, behind me were three hoops. And they were asking, the question was, do I use a hoop to stitch in? And the answer is no. I stitch in hand. This hoop is my embroidery hoop. That's what I use. It's a metal hoop. And you just squeeze it. And then I put my fabric in there when I'm embroidering. And then these two hoops are hoops that I use for hand quilting. This is my main uh, piece that I use and I just lean it in my lap and that's what I use for quilting. So this is what was hanging on the wall behind me. And uh, yep, I stitch in hand for cross stitching. So, okay. And was it? Oh, the other question was, what lamp, stitching lamp, did I finally decide on? Um, and so right now I'm using it as a light. But okay, how about next video? I show you the light. Uh, it has a lid. It has a magnifier. It's it's wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I got it on Amazon. It was super easy to put together. Uh, super substantial. Really heavy at the bottom. Won't tip over. So next video, I promise that. Um, I think it's called bright light. Um, I promise I'll share it with you so that you can you can see it too. Okay, so Sampler September, yay! I thought I would show you one of my older pieces. Not all samplers have to be uh, look the same or, um, you know, be kind of old-fashioned or a little bit stuffy, some people think. So this one is called Sashi the Elephant by Lori Mark uh, Markovich. There you go. It has some I put, I hung this um, ankle bracelet, belly dancer ankle bracelet under it. I don't know why I loved it. And I put a jewel on her nose. I just, <laughs> so not all samplers are um, 
traditional samplers with a house. This hangs in my hallway and when I walk by it makes me laugh. I, I dyed the fabric myself with turmeric. It was a New Year's Day start. Um, anyway, it's really fun. I don't, this makes me laugh every time I see it. So uh, anyway, it was a really fun piece. It came in a book. It had several, several charts in that book. All, all creatures great and small. Anyway, there she is with her her, what color is she? I don't know if she's a she, but she has a beautiful jewel on her nose <laughs> and a jaunty little hat, so I like her. But no, not all samplers have to be uh, traditional with a house and two people or what have you. And this one just made me laugh and it was really fun to do. Uh, also, this was the only one and only piece that I used Sullivan threads. Uh, that's what the pattern called for and they're not my favorite. This was my one time trying them, and I'm, I'm willing to try them, so there you go. Okay, we'll, we'll put her down with her belly dancing. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I put that on there. Okay, let's see. It's really smoky outside, and um, I have the air doctor. I have an air filter for our home, and because, you know, every day I open my windows for 20 to 45 minutes, air out the entire house. I get all clean air. And for the last couple days, I haven't been able to do that. So we're using the uh, Air Doctor filter to clean the air. So I hope you can't hear that. But um, yeah, it's a little bit stinky out there. So anyway. Okay. What do I have that's fully finished? Let's see what I got here. Oh, I'll show you one thing that I finished. Okay. It is called uh, The Sewing Bird by Brenda Gervais. And it is the third time that I've used this pattern. So not always do I uh, do I just pass along the pattern to somebody else or share. This one, it's a little pin cushion. I've made it three times. Okay, so here it is, all finished. And I used, oh, I put that in there so you could see. It is called Lady Dot Creates Hand Dyed Eyelash Chanel uh, Vintage Color. That's what I used on the edge. And so I, okay, this little piece of paper right here is so that you, I stitched this for a friend and I put her initials on it. So I put this piece of paper over it because I know she's watching. Hi. <laughs> and I didn't want her to see it. Okay. And then I made this little strawberry to go, to hang off of it. Can you see the, oh, here you go. Can you see the little strawberry? It has a little button on the top and a little, a, a little leaf. And it's just the smallest little thing. Look how small that is. Here, I can set it right there so you can see it a little bit better. Um, anyway, it comes with the pattern. So she had this pattern piece is just this big and the little, the little star at the top is really tiny. So anyway, it's really adorable. I backed it just with some red, with some uh, creamy leaves that kind of matched it. And uh, I filled it with crushed walnut shells. It's one of my favorite patterns. Obviously, I've done it three times. And I can, you know, kind of uh, personalize it with initials or different numbers or what have you. And it only take well, a couple of days to stitch. And if you can see on the spool of thread, you wrap, you, you cross stitch it, but then you wrap thread across it. And there is a little bit of one over one with the needle that the bird is holding uh, in her mouth. So anyway, it was, it's a lovely stitch, super easy. Uh, Brenda Gervais, I highly recommend it. You can use just a scrap piece of fabric and makes for a lovely gift. So I hope my friend likes it. So anyway, that was a good one. I love that one. Okay. Let's see, what other finishes do I have? Okay, well, let's see. How about this one? This one is Savior, a Savior's Praise. Let's see if you can see it. There you go. I laced it. I got it laced, so now I'm one step closer to having it framed. So, in honor of Sampler September, I got this laced. Yay, this was such a pleasure to stitch. Kitten Stitcher, Shakespeare's Peddler. It's a beautiful pattern. It really is a beautiful pattern. And then one other one I got laced, ready for the framer. And it is the Noel Sampler. And this conversion was from Country Sampler that they sent the fabric and the, the threads and whatnot. And yes, some of the letters are, what is um, Saltbot Stitcher, what does she call them? 
she calls them ghost letters where they are stitched you can see them but you have to be really up close or in person otherwise she calls them ghost letters so they're there um but yeah i got it i got it all laced ready to go Ooh, there wasn't a lot of fabric <laughs> anyway okay so um i gotta go pick out some frames and you know we haven't all been going to the stores but anyway this is a this is a beautiful piece really pretty it was fun I, it was a pleasure to stitch that i love that okay um oh i have another finish to show you we live in hope she's all finished i have i don't have this one laced yet but the stitching is done so there you go it was fun it was a pleasure i changed the word birch bay instead of chesapeake bay that's where i grew up in uh the summertime and had fun and um i love the seine the seine and the boat or the ship excuse me were the thing that caught my eye we live in hope i just i love that i love the colors i love this fabric too i i, ugh, I you know me with my fabric i I kind of just want to buy a bolt and never have to talk about it again. Never have to choose fabric again. I don't know. I got to get better at that. Next finish. <laughs> okay. This one is Sampler Hill by Brenda Gervais. And you know I love this one. All finished. I loved it. It was so fun. And the bee scap up here finished with the little pin stitch for the little, um, the little bees. It was a pleasure and you can uh there are a couple missing letters in this alphabet however the z and the w uh, i happen to have a granddaughter named zoe and so i thought i'd slip in uh, a different letter so that uh, you know maybe someday when i'm gone and they get to picking out things they want maybe she'll uh see her her initials on the front or at least her name on the back and maybe she'll want to keep this one so um anyway this was a pleasure i loved loved this that house is beautiful i i loved everything about this so yay sampler september so that's another finish yay that's a good thing oh you know what else i finished onion powder i took onions out of my garden which reminds me if you don't want some of those um refrigerator cookies and coffee i have these amazing scones i made them with fresh spinach and fresh onions um and some vegan cheese um anyway i took fresh onions out of my garden and then i dehydrated them and then i pulverized them in the coffee grinder and i made onion powder i have three jars for the winter so I know onion powder is green because I use the green uh, parts of the onion too. But I tell you, it smells heavenly. It's I've already started using it. It's it's really really potent and wonderful. I used the dehydrator out in the garage because it was a little strong with the uh, the uh, onion scent. So anyway, all right, what are we doing next? Ooh, let's talk about the drawing. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, so number one, um, last time I had two winners and one of them called Birdie Stitcher still hasn't responded. So remember, it was the pattern from Hands on Design and the Bitsy Bob from Kelly. Um, that's so Kelly Co. And she makes these beautiful, really beautiful, excellent seamstress beautiful color choices she donated the uh the pattern and and two bitsy bobs two patterns and so i need that person to uh birdie stitcher i need you to uh send me an email or instagram message and let me know your address so i can mail it to you and if i don't hear from you uh before my next video i'll just draw another name it's okay all right so one of the things that we had uh, last week, my, our last video, my question was, what do you do for self-care? And, um, and, and I told you about my uh, foot bath, foot spa that I do, and I did one yesterday. And um, anyway, I was surprised that not many people had particular things that they did. They said, oh, I put my family first, I put others first. 
okay, please, please, please remember, you have to put the oxygen mask on first before you can help other people. Oh, we got to take care of ourselves, definitely. So, and I had to have an answer for you when I came back to this video to say, what am I doing for self-care? So, every single day, um, since that last video, I've been spending an hour with music and I've been learning to watercolor paint. I told some people that I'd show some pictures. Okay, here we go. We'll just show them real quick. Look, I'm, lear I'm learning. Oh, there's another flower. Oh, look, there's some poppies. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, this was my... This was my beach sunset, but the clouds ended up look like mean eyes. I didn't notice that till afterwards. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, more sunflowers. And more poppies. So you're starting to get the, the gist here. Oh, I kind of like this one. I wanted to do a, um, you know, white birch trees, but it kind of ended up looking like little skinny carrots in the woods. So, <laughs> oh, another, another uh, landscape. Oh, another sunflower. Oh, more poppies, <laughs> more beach scene, more poppies, more poppies. Oh, another sunflower. <laughs> anyway, okay, so every single day I've been listening to music and pa learning to paint. I've been doing a different lesson every day. Um, it's been kind of fun trying, practicing different flowers um landscapes different things and i'm not giving them out to anybody i'm not doing it to to send anybody i'm just doing it for fun and learning how to use the paintbrushes and so it's been really really lovely really fun so okay so i use the random drawing comment finder and notice how i said finder because i'm not using the word picker anymore i'm using the word finder so i've just changed it it's the random comment generator finder that's what i'm going to use okay so i offered um this project bag that i made and a prairie schooler santa that one was from 2009 and uh the drawing uh, the winner was Linda Cole, and she said, My self time is on my back deck under the shade tree with a cup of tea. I do some stitching, and I enjoy uplifting gospel music. That sounds perfect. Thanks, Linda. Oh, you know what? I, I know Linda's name. I, you've been with me for a long time, and you comment all the time, and you always have great comments and uh, make me blush or make me smile. So thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And if you send me your address, I promise I'll pop this in the mail. To, I won't. Mr. Wright will go to the post office, but uh, we'll uh, pop this in the mail to you. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. And I love your self-care. That's wonderful. That sounds really, really good. So thanks. Thanks a lot. Mwah. Okay, what else do we have? What's next? What is next? Oh, what is in this bag? Oh, yeah, these are just my little clips. My little clips. You know what? This bag I bought when I was on vacation. I'm going to make everything around me beautiful, and that will be my life. Elsie DeWolf. Do you know who that was? Yeah, that was the first woman interior decorator in America. I think she was like 1850s, 1850s she was born, and um, she wanted to make everything beautiful. She was an actress to begin with. Oh, okay, she had, she married um, someone from England, so she, she became a lady, and she loved that title, but it was a marriage of convenience. Uh, she had a friend named Elizabeth and lived out her whole life with her friend Elizabeth. They had a beautiful home in Paris. They had a beautiful home in New York. But she was the first lady interior decorator in America. So I, it's just one of those things when you're on vacation. It's like this canvas bag. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, I love her. I love her. And I just, it wasn't a sweet, fancy bag, but I just, I don't know it's just like tough and I use it and I love I love everything about it I love her I don't know she she kind of she lived in her time when uh, you know she had to kind of go along with what society asked for of her 
but then so she did but then she lived her life making things beautiful and living the way she wanted to with who she wanted to and i just love that i doff my easter bonnet to her i love that i love that okay you didn't come here to look at my little bag all right what else do we have to talk about oh look look what i made look at this little pin cushion pumpkin instead of a tomato isn't that funny Okay, I made it last night. About 40 minutes it took me. I made this out of flannel, so it's it's uh, not wool, it's flannel. Uh, and then this is a little piece of velvet that I had. And this is a little vine. I'm making some other pumpkins. Um, there you go. There's the bottom. And I just used DMC, all six strands to make the, um, you know, the gourd lines. But I just love this. I love this it made me so happy okay I, I got the tutorial from Celeste Celeste creates and she does this beautiful tutorial on how to make little tomato pin cushions and she's been a homeschooler for years and years and years so you know she is excellent at teaching uh, a tutorial and teaching us how to make something so 40 minutes start to finish she's brilliant I, I changed up some of mine made mine a little different added some stuff uh, and the the vine and the thing looks a little different than her tomato because I thought maybe the pumpkin needed to look like a little bit different at the top but um, I, I really loved it and I'll, I'll link her name below you know if you look below the video and there's a little arrow below and it says more if you click on that then it goes down drops down and I try to add uh, people's names or I try to put a hyperlink so you can just click on it and go right to Celeste's uh, tutorial so anyway I know you can just use scraps of fabric one button and oh oh she has you put some rice uncooked rice in the bottom so it has a little heft to it and it sits and then the rest is just fiber fill that you fill in there um, so anyway it was 40 minutes it was super easy super quick I thought it'd be really fun to make a few of these to give as a present or something I kind of like that idea so anyway okay speaking of pumpkins Let's talk about this. Okay, so I made this project bag. Look at that, look at that pumpkin, isn't that beautiful? And so far in the bag, I have a little pair of miniature scissors. Oh, and I have this really neat thing I found. It's a necklace. Oh, let's see, maybe I can put it, here, I'll put it right on this so that you can see it. It's, it's a pumpkin necklace with a cute little pumpkin on it and the necklace itself has a, a moon and a little kitty cat charm but I thought maybe you could take it off this necklace part and then just put it on one of our uh, for a thread keep I thought that'd be really fun so it's one of those um, look how pretty that is that's so neat okay so this is part of something that I'm creating okay so I have a project bag I think I'm going to make a little notions tote to go with it and then I'm donating this to Cynthia Brew okay she is a floss tuber called stitching in the light and she is hosting along with Olivia from pumpkin hollow quilts and Christy from crosshatch quilting they are hosting a the great pumpkin Sal um, and it's going to be October 1st through 31st and so there's a few of us that they have asked if we would donate um, a prize for their raffle. So I'll be making this, I, I mean, I'm donating this project bag. I'm going to do another Notions tote or a smaller tote that goes in with it. The scissors, the necklace, I might be adding a few more things to it. But I, I'll, next time I show it, I'll, um, I'll show you what else I added to it. Um, anyway, they are doing a fundraiser. And hold on, I want to get the name exactly right. Okay, The Great Pumpkin Sal, hashtag The Great Pumpkin Sal is where they're going to start posting different things on Instagram. And the fundraiser is for Freedom Shield Foundation. And her um, daughter is getting married and her new son-in-law, his mom, uh, works with that company. And so the company is about uh, helping to stop child trafficking um, 
which is horrendous and we don't need to go into that we all need to help let's help and to help save one child it costs about one thousand five hundred and two dollars and so that's their goal they're trying to raise that much money so for every five dollars that you chip into the raffle your name will go into the um the raffle and there's several of us floss tubers that are donating project bags uh cynthia is olivia christy um i think there's about 20 25 of us that are all donating different different things um for the raffle so for every five dollars you donate you get your name in the hat and then on october 31st i think cynthia is going to be drawing the name and drawing all the names for all the different pro prize winners and then we all just will separately send the prizes to the person whoever won so it'll work out really easy and fun so i think you start looking for different pumpkins it'll be a fun thing for all of us so in the next uh the next few things that i post on instagram or facebook i'm gonna see if i can have a little pumpkin in my picture to gently remind you uh, about the great pumpkin sale so i'll talk about it again but i will link cynthia's channel below so you can go to her channel and hear all the exact details i kind of just uh you know fluff over it but uh, I have some really really cute pumpkins that I'm making um, so you might want to save some paper bags and get some orange and green spray paint and so then the next video I promise I'll show you uh, how I make those pumpkins for uh, a display and it's super fun super easy but you got to collect a couple of paper, ba paper bags they can be the smaller ones or the big grocery ones and uh, I think you'll like it. So I promise I'll share then and go take a look at Cynthia's channel so that, uh, you know, you can find out more about it. So it'll be a good one. It'll be fun. Okay. What else do I have to talk about? It seems like I've, am I going to talk? No, I've talked 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, all right. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Okay. Works in progress. What am I working on? Okay. So i am working on of course sample for september uh merrily merrily we welcome spring by blackbird designs the other night i said um if i could just buy a bolt of this fabric i'd never have to buy fabric again so that's how much i like it <laughs> I'm just, i didn't iron it i'm just gonna hold up where i am um i got the tree uh here you go let's see let's go like that I have the tree, I have most, some of the border, I have, I have the main little bit of the border around. There you go. I got some stripes in. I love this fabric. Hold on, what is the name of this fabric? Okay. The fabric is called R&R &R Linen. That's what I wrote down? Oh, okay, sorry I looked at that. <laughs> anyway, okay, okay. It's beautiful. I think you'd love it. I love working on it. So uh, that's Stitcherella. She's working on Merrily Merrily. I welcome spring, and um, she, she's a good girl. I I love her. I think she's so nice. Um, she does some beautiful samplers. If you get a chance, go take a look at her. So anyway, okay. So that's one I'm working on. Oh, okay, this one is one I'm working on, and you've seen it before, but this time it's something a little bit different. Ooh, let me show you my, my threads first. Ooh, look at all these. Ooh, you can see them all. Oh, they're so pretty. I love that red. Ooh, I love that red. Okay, so, oh, and look at that little thread keep. I think my friend Erin, Mark, two martini stitchers, she made those. Um... All right, so I am working on Isabella Johnstone Sampler. You've seen it before. I started it. I got the big flower done, the border done, and I got a couple of rows of letters done. And I will show you. I love the fabric. I love the thread. I don't love the thread and the fabric together. I wanted to do this. I love this I love this pattern. And I was so disappointed and I didn't want to work on it and I didn't want to work on it and I kept putting it back. And then I decided a lot of people have said, "Move on. This is a hobby. You're supposed to be happy." I got new fabric and I'm happy. I started with the cow. I never I always start with the border. I get the border done. 
I started right smack in the middle. Look how happy that is. That makes me happy. My husband calls it a mulligan. In golf, if you want to do over, that's what this is. So this is my mulligan. I am starting over. I, you know what? I might keep a, I might make a little pin keep out of this rose or the top of a drum. So I'm not going to totally throw it in the trash. I love this fabric. I might be able to cut a piece of this out to be able to uh, stitch a pin cushion or something. But it just wasn't working together and I had to let it go. I want to do the, the sampler, so I am working on it for September sampler. Sem September sampler. And... Um, but look how great that is. That makes me so happy. That's the part of the, of the, the uh, sampler that made me laugh when I first saw it. I love that cow. I gotta name the cow. That's what I gotta do. Anyway, I started over and I've been working on it every day and I've been smiling every single day. That fabric is called... Um, okay, I originally started on Vintage Beeswax. But now this new fabric is called Winter Moon, and it's 32 count. I, I got it from Acorns and Thread, and they just shipped it out really lickety split. So, and all the fabric, all the threads are DMC. So it ends up being a really fun, not too expensive project. So, anyway, that makes me really happy. I'm happy. I like it. I like having a mulligan. It's a good thing. It's a really good thing. <laughs> Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I think I'm at the part where I say, this is what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for firemen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, one thing they had to let go. The skating rink, my childhood skating rink in my town burned down to the ground. They had to let it go. Granted, I haven't been roller skating in 47 years, so I don't really use the skating rink, but I love looking at it. Every time I went by, I wanted to sing and pretend like I was skating. I loved it. So maybe they'll get to rebuild. I hope so. I hope so. But anyway, the firemen are saving houses and saving people's buildings that, that uh, need to be saved on their property. And so... I don't think they were able to save the skating rink. But anyway, I'm grateful and thankful for firemen and women. So uh, I'm grateful for my garden. I love it. It's coming to an end. I'm going to pick some big, huge Blue Hubbard squash this weekend. It's coming out. So I have, oh, and I have big sunflowers too. I picked one and gave it to the, the chickens. They loved it. So, um, but yeah, I've had a, I had a great season. It's been a really good season for uh, gardening for me. Uh, I love our Sunday picnics. Uh, we get to have these beautiful gourmet picnics and go for a drive, and uh, it, that it helps you helps you through the week. Something to look forward to. I'm grateful for coffee that I can make indoors and not have to cook the water outside on the barbecue and then bring it. In. <laughs> um, oh, okay. I got a couple things. All right, these these aren't fab these aren't cross stitch related, but all right. So these makeup sponges, I love these things. But they're three dollars each at the at you know the drugstore or Walmart or and, oh they just put the makeup on perfectly. I love these things. Okay, so I got a whole package of them for eight ninety nine. That makes them a dollar eighty. So I'm your frugal friend, remember? And I anyway, they're on uh, Amazon. Love them. Okay, I got this really cool book, Seed to Seed, and it's this reference guide, really thick great book teaching about saving garden seeds and how to do it and and making sure that you um you know don't cross pollinate things and and uh, they don't mold or whatever but um in this day and age i think it's a good thing to learn and um okay i have one other thing i'm super grateful for i know it's goofy and i know not all of you are gardeners but i'm just so dang happy about it and tickled i just want to share it with you okay i got this suitcase uh-huh. Okay, it opens up. I love this thing. And then each of these are little boxes that all fit in here. Okay, get this. Okay, instead of having a basket, 17 manila envelopes, three business size envelopes, uh, a tin with a teal colored lid, I now have one suitcase for all my garden seeds. 
so I can keep, like this one is for all the beans. Look, beans I've kept, beans I didn't use. Be Look, I'm gonna grow Chinese red noodle beans next year. And once you cook them, they still stay that purpley red color. I can hardly wait. I wanna show them to you. Okay, so then, and then I'm making labels for it tonight. So each one will have a label, but you know, all the squash together, all the beans, it's all gonna be in one place. It makes me so happy. I think it was like $30. <gasps> Worth every penny, I'm so happy about it. Okay, not not stitching, but makes me so dang happy. So anyway, okay, I think that's all I have for today. I hope you're doing well. I really do. I hope that uh, if the fires are near you, that you're able to uh, stay inside and not breathe in the smoke. I, I hope that you don't have to evacuate or make that decision of what to fill in your car. And I'm sending you prayers and good wishes. Um, I just, oh just kind of a rough time so anyway um thanks for stopping by thanks for stitching with me thank you so much for all your kind comments you're considerate you're you are kind you're nice you're funny you make me laugh and uh i just love love that you leave those comments and i really try honestly try to answer every single one so i don't know uh technologically if everything is getting through but i do try to answer every single one so happy sampler september i hope to see all of your work on instagram and facebook and um thanks a lot thanks for being my friend you make my life a whole lot better and i really appreciate it thanks for stopping we'll chat soon Bye bye i'm still trying to stop <laughs>